know this is gonna sound weird, but my whole world changed one day when I found out about Bakugan. For those of you who have interacted with my channel for more than 20 seconds, you would know that I'm a massive Bakugan fanboy. I remember my first two Bakugan. It was a Darkest Warius and a Pyrus Ravenoid. I still have that Ravenoid with me today, and I liked it so much when I was a kid that I got a big one painted on my wall. The Warius lost its arm. Every weekend I sat down on my post on the couch, checked the DVR, and watched the latest episode of Bakugan Gedalian Invaders, which was the third season. Oddly enough, the only two episodes of the first season my younger self watched were the two about Shun Kazami's dead fucking mom. And after Dan and Drago left on the boat to the land of cancelled TV shows, I started crying. It didn't stop me from eventually finding the series on YouTube and binging it multiple times. The first of these times was done in a span of under a weekend. I make good decisions, I swear. Unfortunately, because because of these binging habits, I am now cursed. I can now identify nearly every Bakugan based on its open form alone. It gets a little shaky for the Maxis Helios guys in some of the third season, but I highly doubt that anybody's favorite Bakugan is fucking Clogor. But I digress. During my freshman year of high school, I heard rumblings online about Bakugan getting a reboot, and I flipped my shit. Do you guys believe the second that hit the air, I was back in my old spot, checking the DVR and watching the latest episode of Bakugan Battle Planet, and it was a solid reboot. If nothing else, the toy line is better than ever. Look at this thing. This dinosaur turns into a goddamn sphere. Not only that, but there is actually a competitive trading card game, and one of these days, when I am not flat broke, I will take my Bakugan friends to an event in which I will use my deck entirely made up of fancily dressed teddy bears, and then I will dominate. So as you can imagine, when the video game Bakugan Champions of Destroya was announced, I popped off. I was ready to relive my Bakugan game experiences all over again. I was ready to name the video Pog Champions of Destroya. The game was mid. Uh, whoops. But I wasn't about to give up on making Bakugan content for this channel just yet. And then it hit me. A Nuzlocke of the Bakugan Battle Brawlers game for the Nintendo DS. For those of you who have lived under a rock for the past five years of their lives and don't know what a Nuzlocke is, it's a challenge run in Pokemon games where there are three rules. You can only catch the first Pokemon on each route, you must nickname all of them in order to get attached to them until they die in the trenches, and then you can never use them again. I'll explain encounters later, nicknames I can do in my head since there is no nickname function, and if a Bakugan dies in battle, then it is canonically sent to the Doom Dimension. Let the games begin. Yes, this is ripped directly from the anime. I feel like if I believed hard enough, I could close my eyes, cover my ears, and recite this intro like word for word. I have a problem. Now at the start of the game, you get the chance to choose between all six of the attributes, and that will determine what element your partner Bakugan is. Spicy hot wings, dirt, the light of the outside world that I don't see too often, angst, soda water, and breathing real hard. This is a lot like choosing your starter in Pokemon games, and sometimes Poketubers will do like a thing where they ask the comments what starter they should pick, but I plan on making this whole experience one full video, so, uh... Yo, Seth. Hi. Uh, what's the best Bakugan attribute? It's darkest. All right, thanks, man. Fuck you. Jokes on him. That is exactly what I wanted him to say. It's time to make my character dripped out of his goddamn mind. In order to do this, it is essential that he become Goku. And you best believe I've got my motherfucking white Vans on. Yes. Why do I sound like that? The problem is that it's scarily accurate. Unknown hyperspace, the evil Hal G works on a new plan to rid all worlds of Bakugan. Was this his plan? Anyways, Hal G is the bad guy and he's kind of an alien, but he's also kind of a human. Wait, he just said all Bakugan will bow to me. That was not what was told in the, in the fucking preview. Anyways, this is the doom dimension. Uh, it's basically the Bakugan equivalent of hell. If you're thrown here, you fucking die. My character, Jonald, is in a pinch. Admit it, punk. You were making fun of the way I battle, right, Akira? Yeah, that's what I heard. What's your problem, kid? Jesus Christ. These two, like, Saturday morning cartoon villains are fucking gaslighting me. ruh -ro, Here comes the hero. Dan Kuso, and all of his polygonal hair glory. All right, here's a tutorial we're supposed to care about, but this does not matter, as I am a Bakugan pro. All right, here comes Shuji. This dumb bitch does not know how to steer, and his Bakugan immediately falls flat on his face. You missed, idiot. Your Nuzlocke run isn't going to go well, if that's how you fight. If two of your Bakugans land on a gate card, it counts as a double stand, but that doesn't matter because it's fucking awful. And for the record, I will not be practicing what I learned again, because I don't learn. I am a genius, and if I roll my Bakugan with a golf club, nothing's stopping me. So every single battle comes with like a short little mini game where you do something with a stylus. And this one in particular uh, involves me rubbing a symbol on the bottom screen with my stylus very rapidly. And um, for reasons that I'm not going to disclose, 
Uh, I'm very good at moving my right hand back and forth very quickly. Now Akira does the mime for a little because I simply destroyed Shuji. And there he is, our partner Bakugan. It's just, it's a ball. It showed up one day and we're like, you know what, fuck it. You're my friend now. Uh, you're on planet Earth, my guy. Um, not in Vestroya then. Uh, who are you, man? My name is Leonidas. <laughs> yeah, sure, cool. I'm still nicknaming you. <laughs> I think I'll go with Mr. Cuddles. Does that sound like a good nickname? Please end my misery already. Fine, fine, I'll call you Prometheus. Is that what you want? It's what he wanted. Now, the run actually starts off fairly generously, because they hand you four Bakugan right off the bat. Here's our partner Bakugan, Leonidas. He is simply built different. I'm calling him Prometheus. A Pyrus Serpanoid, I'm gonna name Mia. An Aquas Juggernoid, I'm gonna name Jumbus. And I've this falcon here that I'm gonna name Ravenoid out of spite that my favorite Bakugan ever is not in this game. Here we are at Alice's Bakugan shop. This is where we can use our BP to buy Bakugan, which are living creatures. Now this is where we're gonna be getting all of our encounters. The idea I came up with to simulate the encounter rule of a Nuzlocke is to randomly generate a number one through six to determine the attribute, and then generate another random number based on how many new Bakugan there are. If you want a visual example, basically, I'm walking into Alice's shop, putting on a blindfold, and running around like a lunatic until I accidentally walk out with my new best friend. Anyways, our first new Bakugan is the Paosaurus that I'm gonna name Thumper. You can also buy cool gate cards and ability cards, which will help a lot. Now the aforementioned mini games that happen uh, every battle, the rubbing thing is called a scratch battle, and I'm very good at those. So scratch battle redo will basically be acting as my Excalibur. These are the ability cards that make videos go faster, but I want some ad revenue. If I ever got any ad revenue, which is why you guys should subscribe. That way I can get enough subscribers and watch minutes to monetize my videos. If you couldn't tell, 90% of this run is going to be a train wreck, but the other 10% is coming into this place and feeding my Bakugan steroids. Thumper, congratulations. You are now level two. You can do this at the shop at will. And for the record, the strategy I'm using for this run is the strategy I use in all Nuzlocke's, take no chances, play like a baby, and over level the hell out of my Bakugan until they look at an enemy and can turn them into fucking dust, atomize them instantly. Anyways, here we are at the first tournament. It should be our first obstacle, but Bruno and Marucho have entered, uh, and they're kind of pushovers because I'm good at them. They're just names to me. I will crush them. My man, Leonidas, or Promethea, whatever. Uh, our first fight is against Shuji. He is a pushover. Good luck, you flop looking ass. I see no possible way this run could go wrong. All right, I tossed down my Juggernoid character card, which means Jumbus is going to get that gate bonus twice. There are like random G power shits on the field. Oh my God, right. I forgot about this mechanic. If you talk into the mic, you can make your Bakugan jump. Uh, which is useful a total of two times, but since I'm constantly talking, that might be a problem. Shuji likes to use Soterra Bakugan, which is interesting, because he will probably never use Soterra again after this battle. This is because I will fucking embarrass him. Die, 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 and then we deliver the hardest line in history. Yeah! That's my motherfucking skills talking. So here's Runo. She is unbearable. She is also Hatsune Miku from the hit game. Domino's Pizza. It feels fitting that Jumbus is an Aquas Bakugan because of all the rinse and repeating I shall be doing. I will be using my Juggernoid Gate card, sending in Jumbus, and I will win. At this point, I should probably talk a little bit about the individual mini games that happen uh, on the lower screen that I'm not recording uh, on each battle. See, it's like, I don't know the exact amount. I don't remember the number off the top of my head because I'm, listen, this is, I'm an encyclopedia of Bakugan, not Bakugan minigames. There's Scratch Battle, where I already mentioned this before, you just rub the symbol. Trace Battle, where you just trace a figure eight over and over again, it's easy. I know there's one that's just Rhythm Heaven. There's one where you spin a symbol over and over again. There's Whack-A-Mole, which fucking sucks. And there's also one that's kind of fucking weird. It's called the bound battle and you just like trace a symbol but it like goes everywhere and it's a little stupid anyways you try to switch our power positions unfortunately it does not matter because i have your address a juggernoid that'd be really useful in the last battle actually no it wouldn't i would have won anyway also i think the ais are a little bit fucked in the head because they send in their ace first and I understand using the most powerful Bakugan, like, as soon as humanly possible. But, like, I'm better than you. 
Don't worry, this is not Thumper. That was Runosaurus, and I just won. Anyways, next I will be punting this three-foot-tall man known as Marucho, much like the football that his head is shaped like. And that is where the Marucho slander ends, because he is fucking hilarious. But also, this music fucking... Oh wait, let me use the jump. Yeah! I don't know what that does, but I just got like a random ass ability card. If you're blocking on Sans the gay card, you can switch the gay card with one. Absolutely! This is- I landed on my gay card! Anyways, here's Preyas. He's based. He does this weird thing uh, called attribute roulette, where he can change his attribute. But this time he won't, because fuck me, am I right? You know, why would I ever want to show off anything cool in this game? The biggest crime Preyas has ever done is not talked. Oh my god, he hit the dab! Robotalian, he's a robot. And he also gets the uh, gate card bonus twice, which does not matter, as I will be dominating this fucker in a scratch battle. Also, even with that, we tied in, a, in Jeep hour. No fear. No brain, no thoughts. I just let my skills do the talking. And much like a Twitter user with a shitty opinion, Marucho promptly got doxxed by my skills because I used a tactic that I previously called useless. But double stands don't give you that XP that battles do, so I will never use these again. I can't believe you when the attorney is a noob. Hey, I'm no noob. I've been watching Bakugan since I was in, in the womb. Hey, Leonite, Prometh, whatever. Hey, Leonite, it's nice to meet you. I'm Dan. You should kill yourself now! He's new here, so he's not used to humans yet. Leonidas is so nonsensically angry that both Runo and Marucho suspect Leonidas uh, because I don't fucking know, he's sus or something. God, it never ends. Oh yeah, now there's a tag team tournament. Hello, Alice, I have come to purchase a new friend. And the new friend I have purchased is a Pyrus Centipoid. I'ma call you Tapeworm. But like, worm is spelled with a Y, so it's dragon-like and cool. The Bakugan that is, of course, the best idea to upgrade is Leonidas, who is fucking insane. Don't blink, or you might miss the other Bakugan getting one shot. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Dan Kuso, for another unskippable tutorial. And yes, if you were wondering, the quote-unquote story mode is just tournaments. Music absolutely bumping, though. Our first opponents are Jenny and Jules, who are the actual IRL real-life Hatsune Miku in Bakugan. I would say it does not matter, as all of them will fall to my skills and then throw my Bakugan, but I have to wait for this motherfucker Dan to stop circling the battlefield. Do I swear too much? I think I might swear too much. Yeah, L. Yeah, you can't toss your Bakugan onto your teammate's gate card when their Bakugan is already on it. That is literally pointless. I have two Bakugan out. I would like to be engaged. Oh my god! You stepped onto the wrong gate card, motherfucker. Let's go, Prometheus the Leonidas. Dubs only, cash money, top soon. Here's Billy, he bet his life savings on fantasy football. This is Kamba, he does backflip, so Kamba's based. Bro, look at this man's go! Whoa, holy shit, that thing fucking flew. Kamba's partner Bakugan is Harpus, whose power is being as loud as possible. She just like me, for real. As I too draw my power from being incredibly loud. Since I love nothing more than redundancy, let me boost my G power even though it is a full 240 points above Harpus's already. Well, that just sucks. Billy's partner Bakugan, on the other hand, is Cycloid. He's Hulk Hogan. This game is not challenging. I would likely be eating those words sooner rather than later. Though. Luckily for us, this is not a soul link. And Dan is not bad at the game. Yeah, sure. This is Chan Lee. She could probably beat me up. And this is Julio, also known as Vin Diesel, also known as Q-Ball. Oh, god fucking damn it. Well, good thing this isn't a soul link, but this is a battle that I would like to win. So Chan Lee, come here. You're going to Brazil. It is a 600 to 250 G power split. Oh my god, I'm fucking cracked. I just, I was just gonna bring out Scratch Battle Redo in case. Hey Chan Lee, throw your Bakugan on my card. That way you can lose a second time. What are you doing? What, what are you what are you doing? Ch Chen Lee? You good? Are you are you gonna come in? D dog? Son? What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait. Oh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. And Dunzo. Runo and Marucho are back. 
trying to use their power of friendship, but I think my power of skill is better. All right, let's see if Preyus is going to change attributes today. Oh, he is! Lamau, stupid bitch, now you're Subterra and don't get the field boost. Tigrera, I know you're the one who has, like, claws and shit, but are you ready to get ripped and teared apart? Here comes Leo. Prometheus, the... whatever. Oh, no! This is the Time Breaker card, and I don't like it! You have to, like... Tap frantically on your bottom screen to release the lock on your input, and then afterwards, you have to start that minigame again. At a deficit. Not terrifying at all. The worst part about this is, I genuinely thought about whipping out my fucking uh, no time breaker card, but I didn't. I figured I wouldn't need it. I figured she'd like use cut and saber or something that gets to grow a boost. But I was wrong! This is a battle between computers. Uh, I'll skip it. Fuck yeah! And that's another win. Roll the dice and I got snake eyes. Pyrus Fear Ripper, welcome to the team. You shall henceforth be known as Hangnails because my other option for encounters was Siege. And I like Siege because he's a cool night guy. Today is a new day in recording and surely nothing can go wrong. Alright, here's Dan. He's gonna teach us about battle royales. Fortnite definitely copied this concept from Bakugan, I'm just saying. Oh yeah, uh, Dan and Drago was just like beaten by a Bakugan and they clearly cheated. I wonder if that will become our villain. ruh -ro. Here comes Julie. See, Julie is an e-girl, and much like my friend who does cosplays on TikTok, she is commonly addressed to as Mommy by incels. Anyways, everyone suspects Leonidas for bashing the floor with Dan, even though I literally just tag-teamed with him. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Here are the three battle royales that we're gonna have to face. Now, for this one, I'm actually gonna try something different. Have a strategy. I'm whipping on hangnails, thumper, and jumpies. I'm using these three specific Bakugans so you can use my pie Pyrus, Aquas, and Chaos combination ability. I take no chances. I would rather not lose any of my Bakugan. Would that create better content? I'm not sure. But if I lose any of my Bakugan, the fool is sure to bully me. And you know what? Seth is probably going to bully me as well. We have a healthy friendship based on uh, bullying each other relentlessly, but we have an agreement. If anyone else fucks with us, they, they die. Fun fact about Shuji, he now uses Pyrus because I embarrassed him so much when he fought with the Sotera team, that he has switched attributes. He actually does this at the show, which is actually kind of crazy, as it is a genuine strategy. As evident of my ragtag band of misfits in this Nuzlocke, you don't have to limit yourself to a single element. Although, they just decide to <laughs> limit themselves to a single element. Oh, it's my turn now. Awesome. Let's make this quick. Cycloid, where you at? Check this, motherfucker. Yeah, baby, I have a strategy this time. You're facing me in my... Field most strongest! I feel like I'm gonna break my bottom screen at some point. Well, it's time to play my favorite game. Hurry up and wait. Much like the last tournament, three other people have to play. Which is upsetting, because I want to play. I haven't embarrassed Akira yet, and as a wise man once said, take that, Cecil the Lion. Alright, here's Klaus, he's rich. Also as a side note, that is probably not as important. Klaus definitely fucks his Bakugan. His partner Bakugan is known as Sirenoid. And I cannot be the only one who noticed this. There's a very bizarre tension between the two of them. Steering my gate card, steering my gate card, steering my gate card, steering my gate card, please, 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 please. Why? What do you have to gain from avoiding me. There we go. See, be like Chandley. Oh yeah, here's Fortress. He's pretty cool. Uh-oh. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. I can absolutely take a double inputted. Oh, 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 look at me go. Double input be damned. To think I was scared. Here we go, the championship with three of the battle brawlers. I personally am choosing not to be scared. Julie's partner Bakugan is Gorum. His gimmick is he is very large. Oh, interesting. I like how you honestly think this is going to stop me from winning. And lo and behold, it did not stop me from winning. God, the sheer amount of times I'm going to play uh, the no more time breaker cards is kind of fucking absurd. Well, guess that card's useless. Well, you know what they always say? It's better to use protection. GG easy. Oh my god, I'm not losing this. Come on. Rhythm Heaven Powers activate now! Well, this is what I get for trying a strategy. So long, Thumper. Well, that's not fucking good. Now this becomes a little bit of an issue because Julie has two wins. I have two wins. You only need three wins to win. So if Julie wins another battle, I have to start this over. <laughs> I can't fucking believe I let Thumper die. You know what, Hangnails? I maybe would have rather gotten a siege, but you know what? That doesn't matter. You're my Bakugan. We're gonna get revenge for Thumper. V-Ripper ditto, let's go. A Gorum character card. Both of us are V-Rippers. I'm not taking any fucking chances. Oh, hey, I get to do a little spin battle. I've never done this before. Uh, DJ, run that shit back. Bro, kill him. I'm not losing two. 
Unfucking believable. On God? On God? Now this gets a little bit of scary. Julie, I beg of you, please stay away from Runo. She's not gonna stay away from Runo. She is gunning straight for Runo. Oh my God, that was fast. Um, does Runo have more than one win? Doesn't matter. First time in my life, I'm gonna support Runo. I'm at a low point. She's using Mega Impact, isn't she? Oh, no. -y. We might have a problem. Well, that was fast. <laughs> That's a concern in Battle Royales. The others can just win. You know what? No, I'm pull I'm not pulling punches. Prometheus, Tapeworm, let's get this bread. I'm mad. Hangnails and Thumper are dead. This is going to be the run back of the century. I really wish I got my turn more often. Julia's higher G power, so I think that means her AI is just going to gun it straight for Juggernoid, which means Jumbus is going to lure her right into a trap. My character card. I don't know why I always do this strategy. <laughs> Fuck you, Prometheus, I brought you back for a reason. Rip him apart. Yeah, each of the main uh, partner Bakugan have their own special little ability that boosts their G power by 200. And you don't get one for Leonidas until I think post game, which is dumb. It also plays a different animation if they win using that ability, which is very cool. All the more reason why I'm a little bit bitter that we don't get Leonidas's one until late game. This is just an old centipoid field. Uh, I don't need more bullshit in my life, so I'm going to gun it for Runo's centipoid instead of Julie's, because Julie's is field boosted. Here's the debut of my boy, Tapeworm. I have my Excalibur Scratch Battle Redo on hand in case this goes bad, uh, but I did it. I told y'all, run back of the century. Listen here, fucker. You said two of my Bakugan onto the Doom Dimension. Oh my God, he's here to laugh at me. Oh, look at this edgy motherfucker. I'm Marduk, the greatest battler in the world. How about we have a little battle? Mano y mano, me Vladator. I am Vladator, the Lord of all Bakugan. The Doom Dimension awaits to all those who defy me. Yeah, that's our guy. What's it gonna be? Big shot. I mean, I'm not. Oh, Marta. We have some unfinished business. That's what you did to Drago. Yeah. Again. He's the guy. For the love of God, it wasn't Prometheus. You can tell how nonsensically powerful your opponent is based on how stupidly they throw their gate card. You want to tango with Prometheus? Then you're gonna get a fight eventually. What's good, Vladator? It's your boy. Well. That figures. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Yeah! No more Fortnite! Now that we're back to 1v1s, these fights go by way faster. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm fighting the level 1 AI version of Marduk, which means we're probably okay? Honestly, I feel like I gave double stands a bad rep. When you want to avoid battles, they're actually pretty good. Both battles were dangerously close, so again, I'm not taking chances. Give me my gate card and give me my victory screen. All right, I got your ass. Don't let it get to your head. Me and Vladador are just warming up. Now that I battle with you, Leonidas, so I know what makes you different. You are from the Doom Dimension. What? Leonidas from the Doom Dimension. Hey, yo, Prometheus, uh, is he right? Yeah, but now I'm different. I have obtained the power of friendship. Potters, let's get me an encounter. I need to replace Thumper. And I need to replace hangnails because they have been unceremoniously wiped out. Well, there's a Subterra Bakugan after all these fucking years. I, I just get a Griffin. Welcome to the party, Scar. Or Simba. No, Simba wasn't the bad guy. <laughs> as obvious as naming a lion Bakugan Simba might be. Ravenoid. I miss you, bro. <laughs> oh, well, it looks like I'm using Ravenoid now. Wasn't there one that just gives one to everyone? Never fucking mind. Yoink. All right, Griffin, you like drugs? Because here comes a lot of upgrades. I mean, for real though, we're getting like no experience from these battles. You gotta do what you gotta do. The best part about Bakugan you get early on is that their upgrades are not expensive at all. They're objectively weaker, but I don't know, man. My strategy with Jumbus is working. Oh, and here's Mr. Hotshot himself, Shun. What's up, man? How we doing? God damn it. Fine, I'll destroy you too. Nothing has changed. Welcome to the Ventus field. We're above the clouds. Surely this is safe. Send me on my way, tornado. That was the wrong fucking way. Do it again. Do it again. Come on. Run it back. Run it back. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. You know what? No, no. Fuck the tornado. Oh my god. He is fast. Stand. There we go. A Bakugan falling on its face does not count as a death, because I strictly said in battle. Did I upgrade Tapeworm at all? No, I didn't. I had Simba. Wait. I'm bringing a Subterra Bakugan onto a field of Ventus. Anyways, here's Siege. Look at this badass motherfucker. Fight me, Jenny. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Stop walking around and fight. 
Bakugan stand. There we go. This is a two second fight. What the hell? There's no way it's a time breaker. On God. Oh, oh literally irrelevant. You did you did nothing to me. <laughs> this set a point push back one inch while I was fucking frozen. Take the L. We don't have much of a choice. Simba, let's go. Never mind. I'm gonna double stand. A majority of my experience just comes from level ups that I buy at Alice's store. Are you kidding me? See, this is what you get for not engaging. I mean, technically you lose if you engaged in a battle, but that's not important. Jules, a subterra user. Prepare to get upstaged. Oh my god, yes! What's fucked up is this is all for naught. If Jules use imbalanced once. Do I break a thousand? No, I don't. That's upsetting. I wish I did though. I get a frame one imbalance, don't I? No? Well, that's a dumb decision. I'm going to win now. Count the seconds. One, two, three, four, five, get fucked. A double Subterra Griffin showdown. That's interesting. Hey, Jules, you want to know how Lion King went? Yeah, kind of something like this. Well, now that I'm on a winning streak, I'm going to get incredibly cocky. Oh, here you are again. Can I read the Face of Rage? No fucking way you used Face of Rage. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Utterly imbalanced, motherfucker. Yeah, no, I really did give Double Stands a bad rep. That is half my fucking strategy at this point. If it's the last gate card, Double Stand. Hey, Julie, you're sub Terra. Time to lose. Whatever, Scratch Battle Redo. I'm not having this. I was getting dangerously close to that middle ground, and I don't want to lose. Ha! I told you it's my fucking Excalibur. Here we go, the final battle against Shun. He is a ninja, and that is cool. He's also a Ventus player on a Ventus field, which might cause a little bit of a problem. But I beat Julie no problem, and she was a Subterra user on a Subterra field. The second time, I beat her no problem. But that second time, she did not know what hit her. Shun's partner Bakugan is Skyrus. She is a big bird. Come on, what the hell? Yes! That was dangerously close. Uh, but doesn't matter. I played Duck Hunt with your ass. I'm kinda concerned for Simba in this state. I sent it a Subterra Bakugan on a Ventus field. And I figured nothing can go wrong. Oh my god. Oh no! Exactly what I feared happened. I was about to use my redo card! What the hell? Scratch Battle Redo. Um, I have a feeling I will be popping this instantly. What is this? Heat blaze, whatever the hell it's called, firestorm. It does not matter what it's called, it is still a problem. You know, no chances, no chances. I'm, I'm just popping this instantly. Prometheus is my big killer. I will not be losing hit him at a time like this. Go even further beyond. And that is how you make a comeback. All right, Shun, I beat your ass. Are you now finally ready to admit that Leonidas isn't, you know, the worst? Oh, shit. <laughs> How embarrassing for Shun of the Mighty Battle Brawlers. It's Masquerade. Oh no, is the angsty, angsty villain. You know what? What's in a Ravenoid? Hydranoid. What's up? I have a taste of Ravenoid. What sucks is even with this card, I'm still at a deficit. Hydranoid is a very powerful Bakugan. But so is my ability to turn a symbol really fast. So long, sucker. But ironically, I am kind of stressed out now. I mean, like, it's a high intensity situation. Okay, now, now you're just rubbing it in. Oh, come on. It's a time breaker or double input. Fuck! I hate that card. I hate that card. God, time breakers are the worst. But after all, Masquerade is just an angsty villain. Ah! Ah, uh, you lost. Let's get an encounter. Six. Ventus. So that's a Monoris. Yes! Fucking love this Bakugan. Anyways, Monoris' name is Titania, and she is on my team instantly. Oh yeah, there's Naga. He's kind of like the main villain, and he just kind of like sits there at his freaking volleyball or something. So in this upcoming tournament, we're gonna fight Dan to obtain his plot armor, and that'll make me become the new member of the Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Here's the Bakugan Master Cup Tournament. This next tournament takes place in a Pyrus battlefield, so shockingly enough, uh, I'm not using my strategy with Jumbas. I'm switching in my boy Tapeworm, and I'm taking in Titania. Let's get this bread. The main gimmick of this battlefield is that someone just, like, accidentally dumped lava everywhere. And if you're not a Pyrus Bakugan, those things, like, fucking hurt because it's lava. And lava hurts in a shocking twist of events. And here comes Titania. This thing's just, it, it's cool, alright? GG easy, not even that difficult. Are you scared? Not at all, honestly. Actually, wait, that's a lie. She's a Pyrus user, we're in a Pyrus field. So once more, I ask the question, what could possibly go wrong? In this game, there are certain ability cards that just like, on a certain gate card, on like types of gate cards, if you have the higher G power, you just win. The battle fucking ends right there. Which would make this faster, but it's kind of risky. I think it'd be kind of funny to speed run this game. It all kind of just depends on whether or not the AIs decide to cooperate and not make their, uh, throws last like 
10 fucking minutes. Uh, no? That's incredibly upsetting. Uh, bro! Hello? This is the dumbest fucking sequence I've ever seen in my life. Fuck you. God, that was absurd. If I were speedrunning, that is what we would call a time loss. What? Okay, I guess you can do that. You know what, fine. If you're gonna double stand, I will double stand. Cope and see, the idiot. A little nervous that she has a Pyrus Bakugan on a Pyrus field, so I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to boost my G power as high as humanly possible. Seriously? That, that was already happening. You just restarted the battle. Nothing's gonna change. I'm still gonna win. Kaboom! Whoa, I'm flying. I can go to the center. Oh shit, I gotta fall on the gate card. Lady Luck? I missed. We're playing pop battle, which means whack-a-mole. I always get the ones that are not appearing. Uh-oh. So long, tapeworm. Oh my god, he broke dance on my ass. Hold on, he's styling. Rut row. This is nonsense. Leonidas, just just kill him. Please. I I'm fucking tired. <laughs> Bitch, I play perfect. I'm going to just like ram some Baku steroids into Mia real quick. This is going to cost nothing to upgrade this fool to max. And somehow it will still be under par. I mean, this is like the first Bakugan you can like get in the game. But you know what? I used a Vileplume in a Wonderlock, and now Vileplume is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. So if nothing else, Nuzlocke teach you how to make it work. It's a fucking maximum already. What's up gamers? It's your boy. Today we're going to be destroying Clout. Uh, no shot though, you're falling off the edge. I'm- I'm saying that you fall off the edge. I'm making an object- Yeah, get your- got his ass, got his ass! L, L, cope, see. God, I am like- I have been reduced to like, Call of Duty kid level insults. How is he still fucking going? I think I can do it. Today is my day where I am allowed to be cocky. Even though I just lost a Bakugan. That's a double input, isn't it? A sp- Bin battle, interesting. Interesting decision. I'm better at a scratch battle. I would, uh, <laughs> The less chances I take in this Nuzlocke, the better. What? That's absurd. No way. No actual way. You're kidding me. That's awful. A sizable chunk of my Bakugan are now dead. What a pain in my ass. This one's for Prometheus. I am what we in the business like to call uh, a little bit stressed out. There's a sizable amount of things that could be going better. For example, this fight. I would rather have my Prometheus not fucking die. When the chips are down, I fucking destroy. Please upgrade my shit, I'm going to die. Is now a good time to mention that I have no idea what any of these stats mean? I am no longer McFucking playing around. Now watch this insult to injury. Ouch. Here he is, big man dragonoid. He's using double input. He's using double input. Never mind. I'm going fucking crazy. And see ya later. I'm calm. I'm perfectly stable. None of Dan's other Bakugan reached that power level. He just has his dragonoid, which starts at 550 base. Pop it. No, fuck that, fuck that. No chances, no chances. I am living in a world in which anything, if anything, vaguely goes wrong, I'm just like whipping out my Scratch Battle redo. So it is at this point in the run where we run into a slight problem. Dan is a fucking cheater. What you just saw was a critical KO, and it tosses your Bakugan off the gate card, and counts as a loss for your Bakugan. It is here where my specification of Bakugan dying in battle comes into play, because from here on out, every character will throw their special shots on their final Bakugan, and the special shots for Pyrus and Subterra cause critical KOs. I have tried several times to steer these shots out of the way, but they simply refuse to move. This is a guaranteed bump to your Bakugan's head, and because I can't avoid these, I'm not counting critical KOs as actual deaths. That didn't happen in the show. Listen, if you want to count critical KOs as deaths for your Bakugan, sure, be my guest. Uh, just prepare to take four to five mandatory deaths. This is nearly half of the Bakugan you can even have in the run. Good luck! This means I'm fighting Dragonoid again. God fucking damn it. You know what? You know what? No, I'm just... I am boosting my shit as far as I can. Boosted Dragon? Yeah, I'm so smart. This is why I played in balance. Ooh! Gamer focusing right now. And with this victory, I am now a member of the Battle Ballers. Hey, you're fucking dead. Please just, like, go in my pocket. Marduk. Teammates. Friends. To hell with that! Alright, it's time for the ultimate battle, Tarny. Looks like it's a showdown. you damn right, Dan. <laughs> Merges on a chair. That's awesome. Well, time to roll the dice and see what attribute of Laser Man I get. If God loves me, it's going to be a chaos. Holy shit, God loves me! Welcome to the party, Beep Boop! Come the hell on. Really? What's up, everyone? We got what it takes to win. And all of the Bakugan have evolved, except Prometheus, who has died. 
Hell yeah. Instead of making my life easier and just like knocking down Masquerade and Marduk immediately, this game makes me go through all of these motherfuckers just to get there. Here we are on the Chaos Battlefield. Whoa, they do have teleporters. Oh my god, I'm- uh, stop. I, I just want to stand to the gate cart. I can stag this. Ooh, I'm so good. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Let's go. Pro gamer in the building. It always baffles me every time they set a gate card. Because I got no damn clue what they're planning. That is not what I intended to do, but okay. Hey, muchacho. Hey, muchacho. Come on. You want to stand on that gate card. Jesus Christ. I guess he didn't want to stand on that gate card. The Aqua's trick shot is some nonsense. Uh, you can just, like, move around however long you want. Here is Preus 2, Diablo. Canonically, it is the twink that Preus gave birth to? Yeah, listen, the lore's a bit messy there, but it, it, just, just, just trust me. Batter up! I'm going to stop at the store every, like, few seconds just to see if I can upgrade anything. Alright, Julie, let's rumble. Hammer Gorum. Oh, yeah. Can I read the Hammer Impact? Am I illiterate? Only one way to find out. Uh, you know what? I guess I'm not, but that does make my life easier. Not today, fucker. No shot. God damn it all. No! Come on! That's, that is such nonsense. Why must my life go this way? Come on. Beep, boop. Pull the chopper out. That's a lot of power for one thing. Wait, why would you do that? Are you trolling or something? Damn. And now you can't play any ability cards. What are you doing? What? I did not have the lowest G power. Oh my god, it's probably printed. Fuck! Literally does not matter. I'm still good at the game. Bada bing, bada boom! That's my skills talking. It is at this point in the run where I had enough losing and decided to spend a majority of my Thursday grinding experience at the park. The park is an area where you can set up a booth selling three ass whoopings and brawlers will try their best to challenge you and sometimes they will unlock new shit for you in the store. One instance of this was a tag team battle with Julie, which unlocked a new Bakugan at the store. And since I'm taking an encounter every time there's a new Bakugan, you can see where this is going. Welcome to the team, Big Man 23 the Cycloid. Well, it's time to take on Armageddon. My deck has received a significant upgrade and I'm rocking with Big Man, Beep Boop, and Titania. It's time to fight Runo, the Chaos user, on a Chaos battlefield. Here we go, Blade Tigrera. The floor is tied. Now let's make it not tied. Imbalance go. What what are you doing? What what is the oh well, I can handle this. I don't need to worry about double inputs if I simply don't let them input. Gamers, we've broke a thousand. I am preemptively spinning this Ventus symbol. I am not losing. Mmm, look at me fucking go! Oh, never mind. And there we go. Whoa, whoa -y. Whoa, I am getting... Whoa, 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 whoa! That gave me motion sickness. All right, catch these hands. Boonk. Hasta la vista, baby. I'm back, baby! Every tournament win will be interrupted by a visit to the store. I will take any upgrade. However, Baku steroids come at a high price. Why does it feel like Shun had more agency in that throw than me? It was my throw. I don't know what's going on. Oh, nice! Uh, bonk. I <laughs> got him. I think I just trick shot it off of Storm Skyrus's head. That's awesome. Anyways, here's Storm Skyrus. No shot. No shot. He also plays Meteor Storm. Oh my god. No shot. No shot. I'm fucking crazy. Absolutely read like a book. Get in balanced. Watch the trick, baby. Shun's Monterous landed on a gate card that wasn't mine. It's funny because mine was a Monterous character card. I feel like Shun is going to whip out some bullshit on this one. I fucking knew it. Oh, another double input. Interesting. They're going for the raw power. Your double input is completely useless. If you have no inputs to double, get fucked. This is a game that I can play with my eyes closed. You better Best fucking believe I am getting as cocky as humanly possible. What? Wait, huh? <laughs> Wait. Wait. I didn't think you could do that. <laughs> you could just swat a Bakugan away. Just get off the card. Go to your room. Goodbye. Time to start my warm-up. 
Okay, listen here, motherfucker. This is gonna be a battle that I do for my younger self. Because when I had this game, this fight against Dan was like fucking hurdle. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't at least a little bit scared for this specific battle against Dan. And it's all because of this fucker right here. Delta Dragonoid. This kid is a monster. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's that, that pushback, kiddo? No shot. No shot. I have to spin harder than ever before. Not today, fucker! Yes! Oh my god, that was... Really tough like that that dragonoid just like pushes back like 10 inches All right now that I'm gonna officially need a new change of pants time to begin my warm-up officially Why is he fighting with a terraclaw? Oh my god. How did I know each Bakugan is like a distinct like closed Form pattern as well, and I really like that like for example Juggernoid is a soccer ball. Oh my god, I'm glad I didn't play on that card. Time to end this crab's rave. Ha <laughs> ha now laugh hysterically. Time to watch his trick shot. No shot, you hit me. Well, that sucks. Oh, Lamau, I think I played his Delta Dragonoid again. Oh, that's great. You know, a big man does not fear a dragon. Let's go. Below us printed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> is at a uh, 1370 and all i have is excalibur no shot he uses delta dragon oh my fucking god oh no oh that's double the power you know, no i'm not no no chances no chances no chances i i'm not even gonna give him time to fucking finish so i won actually this is not a joke i took my 3ds out of its stand so I could scratch more efficiently. I can't lose! Now that Dan has been finished, it's time for my victory lap. I am still in shock and awe about like how I managed to survive a Delta Dragonoid. Over double my power. God, that grinding paid off. I would pretty much be a dead man if I didn't have my Pokemon up to adequate levels. Oh, whoa, where am I going? What the fuck? That, whoa, whoa. Interesting. What is going on? What is going on? I missed. I did all that for one boost, I'll have you know. No shot. No shot. What the fuck? Jesus Christ! I'm not willing to fuck with that Hydranoid. Because as much as I like Hydranoid, it's sitting at 740 and I'd rather, you know, be safe. If anyone can do it, it's Beep Boop. I believe in you. There's a very good chance that I'm just gonna have to brute force this route. Cause that is a Hydranoid, whose base is now technically 740. I cannot remove the boosts he got from the field. Wow, what an amazing turn of events. I did not see this coming. Unfortunately, I have in balance. Oh, I'm also a genius, by the way. Unfortunately, I'm better than you at this game. Your darkest Bakugan are weakened. My chaos Bakugan is strengthened. So let's go. Beep Boop. Smash him to smithereens! Wow, that's a really cool card you got there. One, wish I had it, but two, nope. I disagree with this fundamentally. Eat shit. Monitor, he's too powerful! No, I don't want to do Marucho like that. Careful, guys. This is a totally different Vladator than the one you fought before. Good luck. We're all behind you. Make me proud. I am literally the main character. Oh yeah, we're still on the Chaos Battlefield, by the way. Which is hilarious, considering the fact that I am going to be boosted. My strategy has honestly like stayed the same basically the whole time. I just have a character card and then my first Bakugan is the one that corresponds to that character card. And for the record, this is not a different Vladator than the one we saw before. This is a level one Robitalian. This is a level one Stinglash. This is a level one Marduk AI. Once more, let me reiterate, it's time for my victory lap. Come catch these hands, motherfucker. He is at like 380G power. I am at 900. Like, I am net 960. I have a sneaking suspicion this is one I can win. I am objectively bet. Whoa! Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, tiger. Jesus. All right. Um, moving in for the double stand. Beep, beep. There we go. All right, I beat your ass. Now what? How dare you humiliate me? Vlatata, you imbecile. This deal is off, let it. Hey, what are you doing? Give it to me. I'll use the power of the silent core. He used the power of a really angry orb. And now, he has evolved. <laughs> power. Who's like a demonstration? And now he turned it into a darkest field. What is happening? Hard to breathe. Power's draining. Rut row. Try to fucking splats on the floor. Painful, isn't it? With this orb, I surrounded the area with Doom Dimension Hyperspace. The Doom Forces are pouring in. It's no good. The Doom Dimension is a world of finality for us, Bakugan. 
my energy is diminishing. I can't access my powers. But you know who is strong enough? Someone who has already been sent to the Doom Dimension. It's Prometheus, who was born here. We're in big trouble. This is causing a major tension between our world and the Doom Dimension. According to my analysis, should the proportion of this hyperspace field continue to expand unchecked, it will reach a massive size, leading to total destruction! Well, that sucks. Alright everyone, focus on the dead corpse of Prometheus. We're gonna need some power. The power to evolve. To become a completely new Bakugan. This is not a joke. We have been given a new Bakugan. This is not Leonidas just evolved, but like same level, same stats, everything I got. This is a new Bakugan. All we have is the new Omega Leonidas. I did not have my regular Prometheus at level three. This is a new Bakugan. You can straight up buy Leonidas's in the store. Omega Leonidas is his own separate entity. Since I am a master at manipulating my friends into saying exactly what I want them to, my Leonidas, Prometheus 2, is the darkest and gets boosted in this field. However, there's also another problem. He is the only one who can fight in this field. So if he loses even once, we're fucked. We get what we in the business like to call softlocked and cannot play the game anymore. I am not taking any prisoners. This is a do or die situation. And I for one don't do die. Also look at this bullshit. He could just throw a special shot out. So basically, I'm going to ask myself the following question. How many scratch battles can I reasonably do? I can use this card? Bro, I don't even have a Ventus or a Chaos Bakugan out of my hand. It's just Darkest Leonidas. Aw, oh, game is good. Sorry, I do not wish to lose. I would rather go sicko mode. Round two, coming right up. Here we go. And for the record, we do have to fight him three times, and every time will be equally as stressful. Look at my fucking boy, by the way. Prometheus 2 is killing it. There's a pop battle that is going to go on. I disagree fundamentally. Scratch battle. Hasta la vista, baby! One more. One more. I'm losing my fucking mind. But it doesn't matter. Prometheus 2, we're gonna do it for all those who fell in the past to bullshit reasons. We're doing this for Thumper, Hangnails, Simba, Tapeworm, your previous incarnation, Prometheus, and Jumbus. It's time. Bakugan stand. Let's rock and by God, let's roll. Now all my ability cards are back, including Scratch Battle Redo. Might have forgot about this one too. Nah, it's not gonna be a problem. Can I do a Trace Battle good enough? I wonder if I could just take him in a Trace Battle. I totally could. Oh my God, this is feasible. Die! See ya, sucker! That's my skills talking. And with that, the Nuzlocke run is over. Good guys win. Bad guys lose. The power of friendship prevailed over Vladator. Now Vladator, um, fucking died. This is a game. We just got Prometheus 2. Why do you have to die? Goodbye. I'm proud to have battled with you. So long, partner. Damn. That sucks. Bro, stop molding. You literally look like a child. You may objectively be a cheater at Bakugan, but you know what? Next time, if you promise not to cheat, I'll take you on but not as a Nuzlocke run. Hey, thanks guys, the power of friendship really came in clutch there. But Leonidas is gone, aren't you sad? I, I already lost him once, technically. And then we shake hands with THE Dan Cuso. The models were a little bit fucked there, but you know what? It's the thought that counts. Damn, I really do be missing my partner though. What's up, fucker? I'm back. No shot! I don't really understand what happened, but as he was about to vanish, Vladator reached out and helped me. Vladator helped you? He gave me his remaining powers. Said I deserved them. Maybe who too believed in the power of friendship. Based! God, why do I look like this? Yeah! Never again! Fuck that! But also... Let's go! Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And as always, I will not be learning from this experience.